Bring a little optimism into your life with The Bright Side, a new kind of daily podcast from Hello Sunshine, hosted by me, Danielle Robay, and me, Simone Boyce. Every weekday, we're bringing you conversations about culture, the latest trends, inspiration, and so much more. I am so excited about this podcast, The Bright Side. You guys are giving people a chance to shine a light on their lives, shine a light on a little advice that they want to share. Listen to The Bright Side on America's number one podcast network, iHeart. Open your free iHeart app and search The Bright Side. Hi, I'm John O'Brien, host of Money and Wealth on the Black Effect Podcast Network. I'm an entrepreneur and a businessman. Now, every Thursday, my newest venture is educating you on how to win financially. Even better, I'm going to teach it in a way that, well, you can understand. I'm going to meet you where you are and take you where you need to be. We all might have different starting points and end goals, but as long as we have the desire to acquire financial freedom, it can be done. Listen to Money and Wealth with John Hope Bryant every Thursday on the Black Effect Podcast Network, iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, it's Angela Yee, host of Angela Yee's Lip Service. If you listen to my podcast, you know I love making space for women to be themselves. That's why I'm excited to be part of Women Take the Mic, iHeartRadio's celebration of the women who make music, influence change, and create culture. All month long, your favorite voices from talk radio, music, and podcasting will highlight the remarkable achievements made by women and discuss the most significant issues facing us today. Head to iHeartRadio.com slash Women's Day for more. And listen to Women Take the Mic on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Jon Stewart is back in the host chair at The Daily Show, which means he's also back in our ears on The Daily Show Ears Edition podcast. Join late night legend Jon Stewart and the best news team for today's biggest headlines, exclusive extended interviews, and more. Now this is a second term we can all get behind. Listen to The Daily Show Ears Edition on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. It is time now for today's Strawberry Letter. And if you need advice on relationships, dating, work, sex, parenting, and more, please submit your Strawberry Letter to steveharveyfm.com and click Submit Strawberry Letter. We could be reading your letter live on the air, just like we're going to read this one right here, right now. And you never know, it could be yours. It could be yours. Buckle up and hold on tight. We got it for you. Here it is. Strawberry letter. Thank you, nephew. Subject, why is my mom sharing my daddy? Dear Stephen Shirley, I'm 33 years old and I moved back to my hometown two months ago. My dad is ill and my mother is doing the best she can to take care of him. At least that's what she told me. I kicked right in and started taking daddy to the doctor and to get his medication. When I couldn't do it because of work, daddy had another woman taking him and I thought she was some kind of nurse or assistant that his insurance provided. My mom said it was just a lady that my dad knows. Well, one day dad called me and asked me, could I drop him off at a restaurant and he would get a ride home? I took him and walked him inside. He met with the lady that I thought was his home health nurse. He said it was her birthday, so I told her happy birthday. I called Mama and asked if she was going to join them. I didn't care if I was being messy by alerting my mom that my dad was having dinner with the woman. Mama said it's a special occasion for her, so she was allowing my dad to spend some time with her alone. I went by my mom and dad's house to wait for dad with her. He got home three hours later, and he had a milkshake. He said they went for a birthday treat. My mom had already gone to bed, so I asked him if the woman is a nurse or his girlfriend. He said she's a little bit of both, and he said to talk to my mom about it. The next morning, Mama told me that she lets Dad entertain himself in that way because he's sick. My dad isn't terminally ill, so why is my mom allowing this? She seems so sad about it. Should I confront my daddy about cheating on my mom? Look, These are your parents, and you can ask them. It's nothing wrong with that. But you talked to them already, and they both gave you their answers. The woman is a nurse and a girlfriend to your dad, and your mom uh, lets him see her because he's sick. And as weird as it sounds, that's what they told you. Obviously, your mom and dad have some sort of crazy arrangement going on here. Your dad also told you to ask your mom, which meant that your mom is well aware of what's going on in this situation. This is not a secret between them. 
You can ask her if this is making her sad. Why is she allowing your dad to see this other woman? But again, she told you because he's sick. She knows what he's doing. She didn't even stay up and wait for him to get back. She was in bed before he got home from his date with the other woman. So is she really sad about it like you say? Uh, and, And your dad might not be that sick either. Not if he has the energy to have a wife and a side chick. You said he's not terminally ill, so this just must be something they've decided to do. I know you care about what's going on with your parents, but as strange as it is, it's their business. And don't be shocked if you do confront them that they may or may not give you what you want. But, yeah, this is crazy. Steve? Ain't no secrets. Why is my mom sharing my daddy? Well, you sharing him. (laughs) So let's just get into it. You're 33. You'd have moved back to your hometown a couple months ago. Your dad is ill. Now, y'all ain't saying what he got, so I'll just come up with something on my own later on. <laughs> my mother's doing the best she can to take care of him. At least that's what she says. So you jumped in and helped out, taking daddy to the doctor, get his medicine. And when I couldn't do it because of work, daddy had another woman taking him And I thought she was some kind of nurse or assistant (laughs) that his insurance provided. Well, ain't that the nice cover? (laughs) He got y'all thinking, or you thinking, it's potentially a nurse that the insurance has provided. My mom said it was just a lady that my daddy know, (laughs) which means your mother is aware of this. Well, one day daddy called me and asked if I could drop him off at a restaurant and he would get a ride home. Now, I'm assuming since you came into town and you done jumped in to kick in to take him, get his medicine, take him to the doctor, that you do it when your mama came. I'm assuming maybe your mama is at work with the car. See, because I think your daddy and mama got a car, but I think mama got the car. She's overwhelmed with going to work and taking him places, so now you done jumped in and kicked in. So this one day he asked you if you could call you and ask you if you drop him off at the restaurant, he'll get a ride home. It, it, that's, this is hustling too hard for me. All he getting a ride home, <laughs> got a Lyft app or Uber app. But he fixed all that because he got this woman. So I took him and walked him inside. He didn't ask you for that. All he did was ask, so how sick is he where you got to walk him inside? But you took your nosy ass in there to walk him inside this restaurant because you wanted to know what was going on. He met with the lady that I thought was his home health care, and she is. That's what she is. She is the home health care provider. Yes. He said it was her birthday, so I told her happy birthday. Uh Uh-oh. Now the mama know, the daddy know, now you done joined in talking about happy birthday. So now you you involved too now because you at the birthday party. I called mama and asked if she was going to join them. And I don't care if I was being messy by alerting my mom that my dad was having dinner with the woman. When we come back, I'm going to tell you the rest of it. And it ain't going to be that shocking. We'll have part two of your response coming up at 23 minutes after the hour. Today's Strawberry Letter subject, why is my mom sharing my daddy right after this? You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Hi, I'm John O'Brien, host of Money and Wealth on the Black Effect Podcast Network. I'm an entrepreneur and a businessman. Some would call a thought leader. Now, every Thursday, my newest venture is educating you on how to win financially. Even better, I'm going to teach it in a way that, well, you can understand. No unexplained theories, no mundane lessons, no using 20 words when two will do. I'm going to meet you where you are and take you where you need to be. I'm giving you straight talk, relatable stories, and life lessons through my own experiences and the lens of others. We're not just talking about why financial freedom is important. We're focusing on how you can achieve it too. We all might have different starting points and end goals, 
But as long as we have the desire to acquire financial freedom, it can be done. From the streets to the suites. Listen to Money and Wealth with John Hope Bryant every Thursday on the Black Effect Podcast Network, iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hey, what's up? This is your boy Jerry Clark, and I am the host of Storytime with Legendary Jerry Podcast. For the last 30 years, I have worked with some of your favorite artists like Outkast, Killer Mike, Jeezy, Akon, Jermaine Dupree, and so many, many more. Storytime with Legendary Jerry is an ode to the South. Southern rap has had the game on lock for years, and now I'm telling you legendary stories of how we did it. Like Pastor Troy doing the ad-libs for one of Justin Timberlake's biggest hits. Whenever you listen to Cry Me a River, man, I'm all through them ad-libs on that song. It's that one line, one line, cry me a river, ah. Y'all hear this? Wait, listen to it, man. And what if I told you Jazzy Faye and CeeLo have an unreleased album just sitting in the vault waiting? Now, you and CeeLo had a group for a minute, man. Yeah, we got a whole album in the can. We got a, we have a whole album. Now I have partnered with iHeart Podcast to bring you one of the hottest podcasts in the game, telling you some of the most unheard stories in the music industry. Listen to Storytime with Legendary Jerry on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Imagine you ask two people the same exact set of seven questions. I'm Minnie Driver, and this was the idea I set out to explore in my podcast, Mini Questions. This year, we bring a whole new group of guests to answer the same seven questions, including actress and star of the mega hit sitcom Friends, Courtney Cox. You can't go around it, so you just go through it. This is a roadblock. It's going to catch you down the road. Go through it. Deal with it. Comedian, writer, and star of the series Catastrophe, Rob Delaney. I shouldn't feel guilty about my son's death. He died of a brain tumor. It's part of what happens when your kid dies. Intellectually, you'll understand that it's not your fault, but you'll still feel guilty. Alt-rock icon, Liz Fair. That personal disaster wrote Guyville. So everything comes out of a dead end. And many, many more. Join me on season three of Mini Questions on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your favorite podcasts. Seven questions, limitless answers. It's Chelsea Handler, and if you listen to my podcast, Dear Chelsea, you know that I love making space for women to share their stories. And that is why I'm excited to be part of Women Take the Mic, iHeartRadio's celebration of women who make music, influence change, and create culture. All month long, your favorite voices from talk radio, music, and podcasting will highlight the remarkable achievements made by women and discuss the most significant issues facing us today. Search Women Take the Mic to listen to a collection of International Women's Day episodes from iHeart's top podcasts, including Angela Yee's Lip Service, The Psychology of Your 20s, and Dear Chelsea. It is a great way to support women and discover your new favorite show. Listen to Women Take the Mic on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. All right, Steve, come on, let's recap today's Strawberry Letter. The subject, why is my mom sharing my daddy? First of all, this ain't your business, but since you want to make it yours, it's time for you to have a grown folk come to Jesus. Now, your daddy's sick. You to move back home, you started helping out. Taking him to the doctor, getting his medicine. Obviously, your mama is still working, or and your mom and they got one car, and your mama stay in the car. So now when she can't do it, you got to do it. And then sometimes you got to go to work yourself. And so then he had another lady come by. You thought this lady was the home care health provider. The mama know about the lady. The daddy know about the lady. And now you know about the lady. So his mama was at work and couldn't take him somewhere. So your daddy called you and asked you if you could drop him off at a restaurant and he would get a ride home. Oh, your little nosy ass take him down to the restaurant. You walk inside. Now, if is he is he is I don't know what his sickness is, but he didn't need walking inside. But you took it in there. And now the lady was there you thought was the nurse. So then he said that it was her birthday, so I told her happy birthday. So now you done joined in, you participating in it. The mama know he know it. So then you went home with your little messy self and called mama and asked if he was, she was going to join him. 
I didn't care if I was being messy by alerting my mom that my dad was having dinner with the woman. Mama said it was a special occasion for her, so she was allowing my dad to spend some time with her alone. I be damned. <laughs> I have got to get me a sickness. What <laughs> in the world? <laughs> Junior, this got to be right up your alley. <laughs> Boy, this finna be this. This is one glorious occasion. She told you that it's a special occasion, so she was allowing my dad to spend some time with her alone. I went by mom and dad's house to wait for my daddy with her. He got home some three hours later, and he had a milkshake. He said they went for a birthday treat. I know that's right. And the milkshake was just the cover. Who sure got hot in here? Swing by steak and shake. <laughs> Girl, let me get that chocolate shake going in there. So he walked in the house swirling the cup. Mm-hmm. They went by for a birthday treat. Now they got to be old. Mm-hmm. So now, Ruby, you sitting in the house with Ruby. <laughs> he done just left Estelle down at the motor end to swing by the steak and shake. Now you Jocelyn, you sitting in the house with Ruby <laughs> and a stale and just tighten your daddy up uh-huh. with a special birthday treat and he come back in with a milkshake to cover for it. Three hours, that's plenty of time. And then, uh, so I asked him if the woman is a nurse or his girlfriend. He said she a little bit of both. Mm. And he said, go talk to your mama about it. That's your mama. So now the next morning, mama told me that she lets dad entertain himself in that way because he's sick. Really? Oh, no. Oh, we got two sick ass dudes on the show right here. <laughs> 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 we got one that's clear and we got one that's surviving. <laughs> So now, fellas, see, y'all ain't been using y'all illnesses the right way. Uh, I see. I get it. Y'all could have had you an in-home nurse care provider. Provider. Boy, boy, boy. Now, Tommy, I know your wife. You ain't going to be able to sell that one, so you (laughs) sit your ass down and be quiet. I know that's right. (laughs) Junior, you sure better not say nothing. I bet not. So y'all can take y'all self out of the little we sick two category. <laughs> it's too late for me. I know better than this right here. <laughs> my dad isn't terminally ill, so why is my mom allowing this? She seems so sad about it. Should I confront my daddy about cheating on my mom? What are you gonna confront him for? Everybody know. This ain't got your no mama said you. because your daddy is sick, she allows this. Now, your daddy's not terminally ill, so what do your daddy have? Well, let's talk about it. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Okay, come on, let's go do down. Do your daddy way. have diabetes? He got sugar. People with sugar need a lot of other sugar. <laughs> so maybe, maybe it's that right there. Maybe your daddy got a uh, like, like a heart murmur. Mm. Maybe your daddy, uh-oh, here we go. Maybe your daddy been with your mama so long hmm. that your mama done got tired of your daddy and she don't service your daddy no more. And, you don't and because he's it. sick, she really don't feel like it. So she done gave him permission to go get service where he want to. Sounds like mm. that. Because I done lost my desire for it. So I done mm. told your daddy. And then your daddy came in here and told me whatever time he got left, he want to enjoy himself. Mm-hmm. So your daddy got a little girlfriend. I ain't going nowhere, but I ain't servicing him, and she do. All right, now, Steve. You can confront your daddy if you want to, but your daddy told you go in there and ask your mama, and your mama Post- told you she allow it. <laughs> Post your comments on today's Strawberry Letter at Steve Harvey FM on Instagram and Facebook, and check out the Strawberry Letter podcast on the free iHeart Radio app. Free never sounded so good. Download it today. Coming up at 46 minutes after the hour, we got Junior and Sports Talk right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 
Bring a little optimism into your life with The Bright Side, a new kind of daily podcast from Hello Sunshine, hosted by me, Danielle Robay, and me, Simone Boyce. Every weekday, we're bringing you conversations about culture, the latest trends, inspiration, and so much more. I am so excited about this podcast, The Bright Side. You guys are giving people a chance to shine a light on their lives, shine a light on a little advice that they want to share. Listen to The Bright Side on America's number one podcast network, iHeart. Open your free iHeart app and search The Bright Side. Hi, I'm John O'Brien, host of Money and Wealth on the Black Effect Podcast Network. I'm an entrepreneur and a businessman. Now, every Thursday, my newest venture is educating you on how to win financially. Even better, I'm going to teach it in a way that, well, you can understand. I'm going to meet you where you are and take you where you need to be. We all might have different starting points and end goals, but as long as we have the desire to acquire financial freedom, it can be done. Listen to Money and Wealth with John Hope Bryant every Thursday on the Black Effect Podcast Network, iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, it's Angela Yee, host of Angela Yee's Lip Service. If you listen to my podcast, you know I love making space for women to be themselves. That's why I'm excited to be part of Women Take the Mic, iHeartRadio's celebration of the women who make music, influence change, and create culture. All month long, your favorite voices from talk radio, music, and podcasting will highlight the remarkable achievements made by women and discuss the most significant issues facing us today. Head to iHeartRadio.com slash Women's Day for more. And listen to Women Take the Mic on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Jon Stewart is back in the host chair at The Daily Show, which means he's also back in our ears on The Daily Show Ears Edition podcast. Join late night legend Jon Stewart and the best news team for today's biggest headlines, exclusive extended interviews, and more. Now this is a second term we can all get behind. Listen to The Daily Show, Ears Edition on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.